I was born and raised in Exeter, New Hampshire. Very small, very blue collar town. My dad was a New Hampshire state trooper. My mom was a phys ed teacher, so she had us in every single possible sport from two, three years old. Some of the most supportive parents a child could possibly ask for. They played a huge role in me getting into the sport of triathlon. I happened to be at home from college for the summer, and my mom asked me if I wanted to do this race with them, and I was like, sure. That kind of jump-started my career in this sport. Kona is special on so many different levels. Um, first, just the fact that we get to race on a beautiful Hawaiian island. Everything about it being held here makes it its own special and unique race. Everyone travels from around the world to come here. You have the locals out supporting everyone. The streets are lined. Everyone is out cheering. People are so into the race, and that just boosts you up as an athlete. If it was the World Championships or not, I would come to this race to race it just because it has that feeling and that atmosphere and it's an incredible sporting event that it's an honor to be able to be a part of for me. I'm very excited coming into Kona this year. I'm super excited with how the season has gone. I don't think that my training block leading in could have gone any smoother. I think the biggest difference for me this year is that I now have two seasons of racing Kona and two seasons of me leading into the race with very similar prep. I look at all my training numbers and my past workouts and I'm always trying to beat myself or improve on what I've done. I was hitting those Ironman paces on my runs, but I was hitting them for longer. I was hitting swim workouts with a purpose, knowing that, okay, this 400 all out I'm doing right now mimics the start of the race. And I did that over and over, week after week. And so everything I did, this training block, was very much calculated and I knew what I was doing it for. You never know what you're gonna get on race day. It's Kona, anything can happen out there. There have been race days here that are incredibly windy, coming off the ocean as you're descending at 40 miles an hour just literally blowing people off the road. Same with the heat. I mean, we're in Hawaii, so it's obviously gonna be hot, but some race days you have the clouds that might be just holding the humidity, and you have to run a marathon in this like stagnant still air. Or there could be no cloud coverage and it's literally just baking you. <laughs> No matter how race day goes, I know that I gave everything I possibly had to get to race day in the best possible shape I could. The best girls are here and they're in the best form they could possibly be in for race day. Everyone comes here to try to win a world championship title. She was on the podium last year, give it up. Heather Jackson, welcome back to the island. This lady is always smiling. It's crazy, I have so many friends and family that flew over. I just found out my uh, brother flew in last night and surprised me, so I'm so grateful to them and everyone else from near and far that have been incredible for me. I thank you all. <laughs> I'm just really excited to come into the race and see what I can throw down out there on race day, knowing I've had, yeah, about eight weeks of really great prep. Oh, I can feel the energy just coming off you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Our podium finish last year, Heather Jackson.